more food, Alfie? Do you need more and more? That's okay, you can have more. Good girl. Look at that sweet little face. It is so beautiful. <laughs> Your little tongue sticking out is so cute. Hey piggy people! So today's video I have some more updates for you guys. So first one is about Reese who is there on the right hand side. As you guys know she had the abscess that we had lanced and then we had it burst open on its own and drain out and I had to do flushings. Well it is almost completely healed so the last time there's still like the pore opening but luckily it's been scabbed over for I think three or four days now so hopefully it's all healed and the scab will fall off soon. But just the other night I was watching her and noticed that she lost a tooth and I found the tooth and it was sitting right beside the water bottle on the fleece. So that kind of sucks. But I guess we'll have to wait and see what that means. So it was the bottom right incisor. So that was the side that had the abscess. So I will show you guys the tooth. So here's the tooth. Let's focus. There we go. So it's pretty long the part that fell out so my vet said you know just like a lot of things lately it's going to be a wait and see okay, her tooth won't grow back if the root was damaged and then the tooth could grow back if the root wasn't damaged how well will it grow back we don't know so based off of how quickly velvet's teeth grow i would assume by like a week week and a half maybe I could start to see a little bit of something showing by the gum line if we're lucky the most ideal situation obviously is going to be having her tooth come back because <laughs> otherwise if she has no tooth there then it's going to be a big pain in the butt for how is the incisor above it going to wear down properly and I already have velvet here who has had two dentals so I do not want two pigs to be having two dentals because they're very expensive. So Velvet's dentals, um, I think it was like $300 roughly for the dental. And then that's with um, me getting her to have sub-Q fluids given as well. I found she does way better with sub-Q fluids after her dental so that she's nice and hydrated and seems a lot more peppy and alert. But yeah, so... We will see what happens with Reese Bear's tooth, and I really, really hope that it grows back. That would be the most ideal situation. But like most things lately, time will tell. And Velvet here has been doing so awesome this time around. I was telling you guys how she's eating great. She's eating better and better every day, and she's being so cooperative for me hand feeding her extra. I can just hand feed her now from within the cage, just passing her the syringe, which is great. Last time I mentioned how we were, oh, two full weeks me feeding her only. She wouldn't eat anything herself. And then week three was a mix of both of us, but she's almost at full capacity eating herself. She doesn't pick up hay every single time she tries, but she's doing really good. And not getting too frustrated there's sometimes where she'll try like five or six times to grab this one piece of hay and kind of get a bit annoyed but she keeps just rooting around going for other pieces so it's been going great really proud of her so she obviously learned from last time some techniques to get food in her mouth and hopefully she also learned that you know having her front teeth really far down doesn't feel as foreign to her this time i guess Where's baby pig? Baby. Baby, do you want some foods? I can see your face. Oh, there she goes. They'll be bopped during the bum. Baby pig. Beta. Baby. Well, I can give you some. I was hoping 
get a little baby pig on camera. How are you doing, little Miss Melody? So I'm trying to hold my phone with the little tripod thing I bought. I made an entire video holding my phone with my hand, only to have the audio all weird from holding it. I guess it's really sensitive for sounds because like anytime I moved my hand on the audio I was editing was so loud and you could even hear like the heartbeat in my hand at a couple points. It was a horrible baby. Come here, Feta. Come here, baby pig. Come here. Do you want some foods? Come here. Come here, pretty girl. Isn't she just adorable? So what I'm feeding is just a mix of the Sherwood recovery food and I mixed the apple banana critical care with it. I decided to do a combo to get some nutrition from both of the things to see how that goes because there are a few different ingredients in the critical care from the Sherwood and we're giving it a whirl. Hello Reesey. Good girl. Do you want more baby pig? It's hard to load this syringe with one hand. Here baby pig. I'm kind of stuck with calling Veda baby. This was calling her baby pig for so long. She'll always be the little baby. Do you want any more of Elvie? Good girl. You're so cute. She's such a sweet pig. And I'm so glad that she's doing so well this fast after her dental. Because I thought if this second dental was going to be as bad as her last, how are we going to do this all the time? And a bonus is, uh, her teeth are coming in way nicer this time. So last time the one tooth that would cause the problems before it was fractured. When it came in last time, it was like moving as slow as a snail to grow. It was horrible. This time, it's much faster. So the incisor beside it is growing a lot straighter because it's almost as fast as it. Because last time it was so slow that the incisor that was growing nicely started overtaking it and kind of curving inward. Or I guess curving to the side. So I'm really hoping her teeth are coming in nicer this time and maybe they can correct themselves. That would be awesome. Look at that little tongue. You're so cute. Oh, look at that bum. Look at that little booty. Oh, were we not allowed to look? Was that inappropriate? I'm sorry. So sorry, sweetie. It was just really cute. It was a little bushy bear bum. Little Ray is just uh, in the corner there snoozing. There's a little Huck fan. Do you need more Velvy? Certainly. We can get you some more. Oh, you're coming right over. Who remembers Velvet when I first had her? The scaredest little pig. She does so good now. Quite trusting. Still shy. It was just so sweet. You're just adorable. And look at the little droopy eyes she has. You can kind of see some of the white because they kind of hang down. Like her lower lid pulls down. And it's really cute. The little sheep. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from. So keep on watching.